One of the easiest ways to get started with Microsoft Loop is using it in Teams chat for one-on-one -on -one meetings. I frequently meet with Laura and I need to take notes often when I'm meeting with her, whether it be in one-on-one -on -one meetings or, or just discussions. And I wanna keep it all together in one place. Now I have created a loop uh, and shared it with Laura and I now pin it to the top of my chat so I make it easier for me to find. I can jump directly to it. I've got the loop and I've labeled it or titled it one-on-one -on -one meetings between Daryl and Laura. So it makes it easier for me to find it later too in my OneDrive if I need to. Uh, I can see that Laura's in there. Now, um, the way that I've laid out this is it's simple to use, um, but for one-on-ones, I've got a table here for objectives um, and I can update those. I might also add a task list, which I have got one a bit further down here, but I could shift that to the top of, of my um, loop so that it's easy to find and go back and see the shared tasks that we have together. I have a section here on meeting notes and you might notice that um, as I've entered the, the meeting notes each time, I have uh, used a date and I've used the date component. And it's quite nice to see the date, but also relatively how long ago was the last time I took those notes. So this one was 18 days ago. And uh, the bullet point notes that I've taken there are quite simple. They're just a, a bullet, uh, bullet list as a component. So uh, back up here, uh, it's uh, another meeting I'm having with Laura and I might start this off by just typing date with forward slash and I'll uh, select today's date. So just hit enter and no problem. Now it says today, today, but later on uh, it's going to shift and show that date and show the relative days or last time that I took those notes. So we've got today and we'll take a few notes here and um, we'll also forward slash and do a bullet list. So there's a number of ways to create a bullet list, but here I am, I can take some notes, I can list off some of the ideas that we've had as we've been talking, um, and uh, to uh, I need to invite Laura to client meeting, and then also uh, review site with client and Laura. Right, so just some pretty basic notes that we shared there. What else can we do uh, when we're taking these notes? I suggest that, as you've seen an example, uh, that you can use a table. It's a nice way to um, maybe pull together objectives or goals. And that's uh, a good way also to be able to reorder some of these things that you can uh, shift them around and also add other columns to make it uh, more meaningful and relevant. Um, I've used uh, headings here to try and lay out the meeting notes as well and different sections on those notes. Um, and I've also used a task list a bit further down here. So this is a bit more um, targeted than just a table. I've used forward slash tasks and that allows me to put in uh, the, ta the task as a checklist. Uh, I can also assign it to one of us. And, um, and also add a date for that. And just like the table, I can reorder some of these tasks into a different priority. So quite useful there, and add an additional task when I need to. So those are a few quick ways to use a Microsoft Loop in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Um, I can easily use this and go back to it every time that I have a chat or a one-on-one -on -one call with Laura. And later on, very soon, I'll be able to add this same loop into an Outlook email so that not only do I have the opportunity to update and refer to this loop with, within Teams chat, but also within an email too. So those are a few quick tips about how to use loop in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Are there some ways that you like to use loop as well uh, to, um, within your chats and within your meetings? Let me know in the comments below and we'll see what we can come up with in the next video. See you again soon. Bye for now.